Welcome to Attleboro Update. After years of planning and construction, the Olive Street Bridge has opened to the public. A quiet opening was held last week where city dignitaries led a procession of vehicles over the bridge to signify its opening. Moments after, the first motorists made their way across the bridge. AACS was there to cover the opening and we spoke with Mayor Kevin Dumas about the importance of the bridge's completion. We're here today on November 27th, the day before Thanksgiving, and we've got a wonderful city Thanksgiving gift, and it's the opening of the Olive Street Bridge today. And after uh, certainly a deluge of rain of over almost three inches today, uh, this is a proud afternoon for us, and you can see the cars going by behind us and the motoring public uh, being able to finally traverse over the Olive Street Bridge. It's been a couple years. Um, and the construction of this bridge is an accelerated bridge program and uh, we were very lucky to be selected for an accelerated bridge program so it takes almost half the time to have a bridge uh, completely constructed. The old one taken down, the new one now in its place um, and so we were very fortunate to be selected for that program and this design is very similar to the design that's over on Thatcher Street and so this transition for this new bridge is completely different from what was here before so the people going over the bridge right behind us for the first time are certainly enjoying a much safer route um, just ask people to be able to be cautious as they're using the new bridge but it's something much more uh, for the public to be able to go through and it's a wonderful cut through as an east-west connector for the city and to be able to have this open especially as the holiday traffic kicks in tomorrow with the beginning of the lights at La Salette uh, certainly be able to go through and have a better cut through for traffic and for the daily traffic for the the people in the city of Atterboro who live over on the the Pike Ave, Wilmot Street, Park, Park Street section of the city that use Maple Street and Olive Street to connect over to 123 on County Street and out to 95 uh, for their commuting pleasure. So this is open for the public. Please be safe and uh, we're very happy that this is open here today. Uh, we were, had a motorcade that went over due to the inclement weather and it was myself, it was City Council Vice President Peter Blair, uh, City Council Walter Thibodeau, City Council Brian Kirby with us today with uh, our acting chief uh, James MacDonald as Chief Hegney is on vacation for the police department and also our Fire Chief Scott LaChance was with us today and as well as the Superintendent of Public Works John Clover and the Assistant DPW Superintendent for Operations Ron Dubuque all enjoying the, the drive over this new bridge today. So congratulations to the city and we have our bridge back in action. Uh, I just want to state that this bridge is a very safe connector from 123 to 152 the only thing that we ask is that you obey the speed limit to the weather conditions. With the winter months coming on, just obey the, uh, the conditions for the traffic, uh, traffic conditions, uh, the weather conditions. If it's snow or ice, please slow down to avoid any accidents. We want to thank the uh, motor and public for their uh, cooperation and please have a happy and safe holiday season. <laughs> 